where do I even begin? Where do I even begin here? <laughs> well, let's start with this. Purple people, there's always next year. <laughs> it's only been preseason game number one. I'm already saying it. I've been saying it for weeks though. Well, days actually. You guys, that was pathetic. We had another pathetic purple display last night when the Vikings lost to the Denver Broncos 33 to six. Yeah, I know it's preseason. Yeah, I also know that there were like 30 people out or like, you know, 30 starters, whatever, sitting out. I realize that, but I believe that's a little foreshadowing of what's to come here. It was like a little appetizer. So did you guys enjoy your mozzarella sticks? Did you enjoy them? Because the main course is going to be, oh, it's probably going to be slop. Here, it's going to be slop. Seriously, we have purple problems. I, that didn't give me, it didn't give me uh, a lot of purple hope watching that, let's just say. And um, I don't even know where to start here. I don't even know where to start. But one thing that I keep hearing just from last night now, just after that little pathetic display, like I said, what I keep hearing now is going back to years ago, what was it, like three and a half years ago, when th they, the purple organization, the Vikings were all saying, remember when they were all saying, <clears throat> The pieces are in place. The pieces are in place. We're just missing a quarterback. And then they signed Pizza Ranch Boy. How the hell has that worked out? When were the pieces ever in place? When? That was a lie. That was a lie. And for those of you that are still buying that, there's, there's space over here in the realistic realm. You come on over here. You come on over here. Because we have to listen to that crap, but we don't buy into it. We don't buy into it. It was lies, it was lies, 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 lies. Purple organization, you know, everybody, everybody. It's all the players, all the coaches, everybody for themselves at this point. They're just duct taping problems. That's all that they ever do. There were never any pieces. They were doing separate puzzles, all right? Or they thought, the Vikings thought that they were participating in the NFL puzzle, when in reality, they were not. They were not. They were given a placebo puzzle, whatever that is, <laughs> you know, or they were, the NFL's working on a puzzle that is like ages 12 plus, and the Vikings are working on a puzzle that is ages, whatever age you could do a puzzle without it being a choking hazard plus. <laughs> it's like two different levels here. The purple are going to get stuck in purple purgatory, which they have been and they will continue to be there unless somebody starts taking accountability for things that don't go right here. Like when the pieces weren't in place, when the signing of Pizza Ranch Boy was not the right thing to do. Because how has that worked out? How has that worked out up until now? How is it? It hasn't. It hasn't. Until somebody starts taking some accountability, this team is going nowhere, going nowhere. But they're gonna continue to put butts in the seats and sell tickets and fill their pop pocketbooks it's just, let's put, put your money where your mouth is here, people. Come on. Put your mouth where your money is, really. Whatever it takes get, to get this team to a Super Bowl. Because right now, they don't have it. They have nothing. What do they have? What does this team have? They have nothing. Nothing. They are like one, you know, bad play, one bad snap away from everything falling apart. Because as it stands right now, they're kind of under this, like, Kirk thing too where you know with Kirk everything has to be like in the perfect place that's kind of how the Vikings are right now everything has to be in its little perfect place for the team to you know go to the Super Bowl or get to the playoffs or whatever it is it's like I'm not seeing that are you guys seeing that what do they have what do they have we don't even have a solid third wide receiver our offensive line don't even get me going don't even get me going I we've all been hearing it's a problem it's been a problem for years problem for years Oh, and then you try to draft somebody, and now they're injured, and then, oh, it's still a problem. Oh, and then you get rid of somebody that was really good, and then you keep somebody that is causing you safeties. <clears throat> Dakota Dozier, okay? I'm just so sick of pushing of the blame here. I'm just, it's just, this is going to be one of this. 
people, this is going to be what it is, so we should get used to it. And you know what, Zimmer, I really like you too, dude. I like you. I'm a Zimmer fan. I'm a Zimmer fan. I like you, dude. But you can't just keep pushing blame, too. you got to take some accountability here. Like, when the offense sucks, you can't just say that's Clint's fault, Clint Kubiak's fault here. You know what? Because you're the head coach. You're the head coach. Even if you think in your mind that all you got to do is focus on the defense, all you got to do is focus on the defense, guess what, dude? It all comes back to you. It just doesn't seem that he realizes that, and it, you know, it's troublesome. But it's Zim versus Kirk at this point. It's the offense versus the defense. It's everybody for themselves at this point. And it, we're just going to see how that's going to play out. This team is going to go like 7-10. and 10. If that, I'm telling you people. And then, oh, where do I even begin? The quarterbacks, we can't trust our starting, our, our starting quarterback. We can't trust him. We can't trust our starting quarterback. And then our backup quarterback, we still need to see more from him. Okay, Jake Browning, like... Dude, I think he's just still trying to shake the rust off at this point. I do. I want to see more from that. Maybe he can step it up. It wasn't looking good, dude, when you throw in a pick six. Not looking good. Especially to this, the entire team as a whole. You're going to lose 33-6 to six when you've been scrimmaging, practicing against these same players for the past, what, like two or three days? And then you go out and you lose 33-6? to six. What is that? Honestly, who throws a shoe? Honestly. Um, yeah, and I just gotta say, too, on this quarterback situation, it is, um, it's threat level midnight here with the purple quarterbacks, as far as I'm concerned. They need to send a signal out to, to anybody, like, you know, SOS to Kyle Slaughter. I said that before, I'm saying it again. Because when the team let Kyle Slaughter go, he was um, the second best quarterback. If not, maybe could have been the best quarterback. He was a threat to Kirk at the point, at that point in time. That is why the team got rid of him. I, is, I am convinced, yeah, maybe he had some problems too, but I also do think he was threatening, threatening, to Kirk. So, oh, we gotta get rid of him. We can't make Pizza Ranch Boy unhappy. Can't do that. Can't put any unnecessary extra pressure on Pizza Ranch Boy. Can't handle that. Gonna be, gonna break through the box there. The box is gonna fall out the bottom. And, um, yeah, I just, I also, to the whole, like, organization, whoever, you know, keeps saying, well, the pieces are in place. They were in place. They were in place. You know what? You thought wrong. You thought wrong. You did. And you're not taking accountability for that at all. So maybe it's time for some new people to get in there with some new thoughts about some things. Because the people that you got thinking now, they're thinking wrong. And then, of course, not taking accountability. Let's just push, push blame, push blame, and then continue to sell tickets and continue to get butts in the seats and continue to fill their pocketbooks without actually having this team produce anything. I'm annoyed. I'm sick of it. That's where my notes end. People, what do you think? Ugh. I mean, honestly, who throws a shoe? I just, we have a lot of problems. I know, you guys, it was only game one. I understand that. I do. We got the Colts uh, Saturday night. So we'll see what happens there. Um... Our secondary is scary, and it's not, like, scary as in good. It's scary as in bad, not good. And then, just going back to, to hearing about offensive line problems, if I have to hear that this team has offensive line problems, I'm a scream! How many years have we been hearing that? Do something about it, then. Do something about it. Until then, shut it. <laughs> shut it. Um, I'm about to shut it at this point. Uh, uh, purple purg purgatory. We're in there, people. We're in there. We're in there. I mean, Zimmer's disgusted. He said, I can't remember the exact quote, but he was just like, yeah, nobody played very well. Doesn't seem like uh, they want to be out there. They deserve to be out there. They know what's going on. So, a lot of problems here, people. A lot of problems. But only game one. But, again, I do think it's a preface. It's some foreshadowing of what's to come here because... We're, it's like we're one injury away or one COVID, like positive COVID test away from the shit hitting the fan over here. The purple ship sinking. The purple ship veering off course as it is wont to do at times. I don't know. That's all I got. I just wasn't. What's good to say about that? The kicking. Greg, Greg Joseph, he did pretty well. So there we go. Golf clap for the kicker. Woo! We got some positivity in there. Got some purple positivity to end on there. Is there anything else while I continue clapping? 
No, I'm still worried about the offense. I'm still worried about that. So, oh, Teddy. Teddy was back. So, golf clap for Teddy. Teddy Bridgewater. <laughs> he was back in town. That's about it. Golf clap for us. Golf clap for the rest of your Sunday, you guys. Hope you have a great rest of your Sunday. Ah, all right, I'll be back later with some more thoughts, I'm sure, per usual. Ah, until then, enjoy the rest of your weekend, everybody. And uh, yeah, take it easy. P.S. Mar, hey, how's it going? I was watching Kitty on the camera. So cute in the little condo. She loves taking her little naps in there. It's adorable. So hopefully I see you too soon. Until then, take care. All right, everybody, I'll check you on the flip side. Later.